So, 24 hours later, after I shot this bear, this man found it underneath this tree <laughs> in an impossible spot to find after we'd been searching for a day and a half. This is incredible. <clears throat> incredible man right here. He can find <clears throat> ice in the desert. <laughs> Highly recommend anybody taking a trip with this guy. This is not the first bear I've shot with him. This has been the hardest one to find, no doubt. But hands down, this guy knows these woods better than anybody. And, you know, stick close to him. I'd say stay in his back pocket. <laughs> because if you don't, you got to play baby chicks. You'll get turned around and get lost <laughs> <laughs> out here. That's the name of the game. You play baby chicks and keep up, and we'll get you on them. Get you on them for sure. This thing in this, uh, in this man's world here is very comfortable. The hunt's comfortable. The accommodations are comfortable. Um, the, uh, the family atmosphere can't be beat. Um, again... I highly recommend a hunt with this man. As you can see, we're surrounded by alders <laughs> that we had to crawl through to get to it. And we're approximately uh, 300 yards as the crow flies, but the route that he took is probably 450. Quarter mile? Yeah, he, he ran a quarter mile. Uh, you can't say enough about get the second shot in them if they're still moving. They're still moving, flopping on the ground. You think it's a dead bear? Go ahead and shoot it again. Okay. Or you're going to be chasing it for 24 hours or <laughs> looking for it. or Use enough gun. Use, use enough gun. <laughs> and pick your shot carefully. <laughs> <laughs>